What is chiller approach? Chiller approach is the temperature difference between the water and the refrigerant. Because there are two heat exchangers and a chiller, then we have two types of approach. Evaporator approach, which is the temperature difference between the chilled water supply and the evaporating refrigerant. And the condenser approach, which is the temperature difference between the condenser water leaving the condenser and the condensing refrigerant. What is the normal chiller evaporator approach? Chiller evaporator, as we know, is responsible for chilled water supply and return. Inside the evaporator, the refrigerant absorbs heat from the chilled water, thereby cooling the chilled water and evaporating itself. Chilled water supply is the water leaving the chiller and entering the AHUs or FCUs. Chilled water return is the water leaving the AHUs or FCUs and entering the chiller. The normal chiller evaporator approach is below 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit for well-maintained chillers. As we can see in this running chiller, the chilled water supply temperature is 44.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The evaporating refrigerant temperature is around 43.4 degrees Fahrenheit. This means the evaporator approach is 44.6 minus 43.4 equals 1.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's move to the condenser. What is the normal chiller condenser approach? Inside the condenser, the condenser water absorbs heat from the refrigerant, thereby condensing the refrigerant and warming up itself. Condenser water supply is the water leaving the cooling tower and entering the chiller. Condenser water return is the water leaving the chiller and entering the cooling tower. Some refers to the condenser water leaving the chiller as condenser supply instead of return. So to avoid confusion, memorize that condenser approach is the difference between water temperature leaving the condenser and refrigerant temperature. The normal chiller condenser approach is below 7 degrees Fahrenheit for well-maintained chillers. Hence, if the leaving condenser water temperature is 93.4 degrees Fahrenheit as in our case, and the condensing refrigerant temperature is 100.7 degrees Fahrenheit, this means we have a condenser approach of 100.6 minus 93.4 equals 7.2 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why we are getting an alert here due to high approach. So what high approach means? It means the chiller condenser gets dirty and requires cleaning. The condenser approach raises much quicker than the chiller evaporator approach because it is an open piping system. So, a lot of dirt get inside this system from the cooling tower. Thus, it is very common that the chiller condenser approach raises above 7 degrees Fahrenheit, causing poor chiller performance and high power consumption issues.